Look familiar? Somewhere in that mountain of stench is your garbage. And now, after 20 years, it's time to decide once again how to clean up the mess. It took just three days to produce this valley of vile. 3,000 tons of pigeon smorgasbord served up at the place where trash gets turned into treasure. Well, there's a lot at stake as far as economic development and jobs. Consultant Mike Willis stumping for the survival of the hall incinerator. Is this 24-7? 24-7. In the control room, panels with names like Grizzly Scalper monitor Telsa's version of Dante's Inferno, burning 340,000 tons of trash per year, turning it into energy. We absolutely believe it's much better environmentally to do this uh, rather than put it in a landfill. But landfills can get rid of all that garbage cheaper than burning. $7 per ton cheaper, roughly $2 million cheaper overall. Will the city council renew the contract? We really don't know at the end of the day which way they'll go. I think I would uh, continue to burn. Tulsa Bruce Barnard says penny pinching would be environmentally short-sighted. I think it would cut down on the uh, amount of tonnage we have at the la landfill, which environmentally may be the way to go. Environmentally, uh, we're much uh, preferable to a landfill. With incineration, just 10% of all that garbage goes to landfill as ash. Willis is hoping Tulsa sees environmental green over wallet green. If this facility is not here, that 340,000 tons per year would go to a landfill. City leaders have until May to decide what to do. In West Tulsa, Bert Mumolo, News Channel 8.